What is up? I'm Wanda Turtle, and today we have a PSA submission video. Uh, so this is for the December special they have running, uh, where you get $15 per card, max value $200. And this is a handful of cards between myself and my patrons. Shout out to all the patrons. And all right, so we're starting with some of my cards, starting off with a special delivery Charizard. Uh, I am, so I do have a bunch of these, and this one feels like it's closed, although this border does seem slightly thicker. Ooh, a lot of glare with these, um card savers maybe i should do this before they're in there uh so i wouldn't be surprised if it gets a nine hope obviously hope for tens this one looks a little bit better and yeah the centering is quite bad on a lot of them and uh yeah so i've mentioned this before but i kind of have run out of cards to submit the psa i still have like obviously a lot of other stuff but it's kind of like modern cards that i don't think are worth submitting anymore uh they're just too many cards or too many um the pop reports are just too high. It's not worth grading anything that's not like secret rare, alternate art, or something like that. Uh, but we do have some screen promos, and I think this is like, yeah, this is the last of my screen promos. I had so many of them, and I guess it's a good thing. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure what to submit to PSA. Uh, here we have, obviously, this is from the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection. Have been opening more of these than I ever wanted, just to get these submitted, and looking for ones that are well centered. Um, Centering is quite bad. Actually, I think this one, one of them was ridiculous. Uh, where I wonder if this could get the OC. Look at that. Look how bad that is. Um, and I am on the fence. I'm just going to submit them. Uh, the price is, you know, probably as good as it's going to get at $15 per card. But like, I think very few of these, maybe none of them will get tens. Maybe like one ten. Hopefully, I get at least one of every art. And you know, like I think right now they're like the nines are selling for like $50, but I have to imagine that's going to plummet. Like I'm sure so many people are submitting these cards to PSA. And even though like the, and I bet the tens could hold just because the centering is so poor on, on all of them. Um, so we'll see. I have my reservations about sending these all in, but I'm just going to do it. Um, again, I doubt the price will ever get any cheaper. And where was the one? Where was one that the center was like <laughs> atrocious? Maybe it was that one from earlier. Um, but yeah, so we have a bunch of those going out. And then uh, just some different cards. I think I op got this from one of the Charizard UPCs. Wow, the, the glare is really bad. I apologize for that, but a nice Calyrex there. Uh, Trainers Gala. I don't know who this is. <laughs> and one of the cuter, uh, one of my TG, the Trainer Galas that I do like, the Phalanx. Um, and this one came pretty well centered, so I figured I'll send that in. And yeah, just going through the boxes of cards to potentially send the PSA, looking for ones that can be. So we do have some Ultra Shiny GX, uh, some ones that I think could get tens, and they're popular enough Pokemon. This set, actually, Hidden Fates in general, I think it's going through an interesting phase. And then we got two Charizards that look pretty well centered. Uh, where because of this new age of alt arts like these things like they're that are just the reprint But with a different coloring I feel like have you know Have taken a hit in their desirabilities for for legit reasons uh, Especially like now alt arts is like the new thing um, so I feel like they're going through an awkward transition phase But all right now we're going into some cards. I just had I think I probably purchased these from like Goodwill, just like a co random collections, because I never really collected these cards, but we got a nice Giratina level X, some Delta Species, Ampharos, and then some, a random surfing Pikachu promo. This is the, the promo version, like the original one. A random Flareon that uh, maybe this could get an eight. I think I had a no symbol, but the condition was quite bad. Um, some more of these Pokemon Center promos. The Tea Party one, really like that. A nice looking Lugia. Uh, I think it's from Pop Series. A random secret rare Sigilith. Very golden. More of these red Pikachus. I just have like so many of these. Um, the only reason I still grade this is because they're easy 10s. Not worth much, but um, yeah, the 10 rate is really high. A random Drachi promo with pretty good centering. All right, now we're moving into like a big gap in my collection. And I don't think any of these will get 10s, but hey, I have to start somewhere on these, uh, the original EXs. Uh, so this one's nice. This one's actually Shatter, like some kind of Shatter Foil pattern. I'm actually, I actually have to double check if there's like a different version of this for this Shatter Foil pattern. 
Yeah, but then we just have some different ones. Hitmonchan. I do like this one. This Latios looks really nice. A Muck. Of course, it's the Muck that looks really good. I think this one could get a 10. But it's like, oh, why is it the Muck? That's always good. Oh, Wigglytuff. Uh, yeah, so I think I just purchased a collection a while back, and it just had a bunch of these. And, um, yeah, since I've ran out of cards, I'm just, like, sifting through... Uh, random things like, alright, is there any other cards that I should submit? Very nice Ho-Oh right here. And I do like the look of this card. I don't know much about it or if if there's much potential in it, but uh, that's a pretty sweet Rayquaza art. And then Pharos, and I think that's it for the EX era stuff. We got a random Meowth. A random Reverse Collection Magneton. Alright, now we're moving on to some patron cards. Uh, shout out to Ty. See, uh, some, uh, if, you, if you're familiar with what with, with, uh, Pokemon he likes, you'll see, you know, you won't be surprised. Um, the, the postcards, very nice. And then we have some Japanese full art supporters, a Rosa, and uh, I had to look this up, this was Lily's Full Force. I believe the English one is some um, Ultra Prism. And here we go, <laughs> Ty's favorite Pokemon is, of course, Snorlax. So we have three, four five <laughs> six seven eight and we already graded one for him for a total of nine uh so yes there's a full sheet of the what was it chilling rain chilling rain snorlax i believe it's chilling rain all right now we have i think um uh ty said he opened a random costco tin and he hit a home run with the moon brian i i i mean this card is awesome but, you know, I, I feel I don't appreciate it as much as everyone else does. Uh, so I definitely never picked one up on the secondary market. It's, it's, it's always seemed like way too expensive, but then it just keeps going up. It seems like it's going back down. Um, this one, I feel like it could get a 10. This this border right here is like slightly thicker than this one. Um, so I feel like it wouldn't be surprised with by a 9, but certainly has 10 potential. Uh, but best of luck, Ty. And then to wrap things up, we got some more Snorlaxes. Um, I think this was like Skyridge or something. And then a, what was this? Team Up Full Art. Team Up Secret Rare. Uh, I think this is Team Rocket's Return. Very nice EX card. Yeah, this is pretty sure it's Rocket's Return. And then a Legendary Collection Snorlax. Got that OG art. And I really like this art. The Snorlax Level X. This one <laughs> looks like he's just... Uh, really chowing down on something and actually so Ty made a request like oh can I send some packs to be graded and I was like you know I sure why not I'm happy to help um, I this would be the first time I'm submitting and I don't really know what it what makes a good pack submission uh, but we got some more Snorlax packs we got a sword and shield base team up featuring Eevee and Snorlax this one, I still haven't figured out how to submit. So this is a Thai pack. And I think Thai, they just have like a couple sets that you can get graded so far. Um, so I'm still looking into it, but so far I do not know if I can submit this one. And so I have a box of vintage, well, quote unquote vintage packs, some of them are vintage, uh, just some older packs. And they're all pretty beat up. So I don't think any of these will get good, any good grades. But again, we have to start somewhere. And um, these were the best <laughs> that I could find as far as like their condition. So we do have a Heart Gold Soul Silver Unleashed. That's a pretty nice pack art though. A Dragon's Exalted. Um, yeah, so none of these are perfect. So I have no idea how these will grade. Uh, this one's pretty cool. A Double Crisis pack. I think one of them like the, the, the bottom flap is like fully folded. Um, so again, I don't really know what I'm getting into here. Uh, but we got to start somewhere. We do have a base set pack, a Charizard pack art. So definitely want to get this graded. Uh, but as you see, I think it won't do well. Uh, although I don't have any experience in this arena. If you do have experience um, and have any suggestions, let me know. But um, yeah, that's going to be it for the December submission. Uh, best of luck to Ty and patrons uh, and to myself. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm Wanna Turtle. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.